Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or these EVs, we're probably all about to drive. This is your All-Terrain Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. And today, we are going to talk about the E and V from Chevy, their new pickup truck, the Chevy Silverado. And I, for one, am pretty excited about this. And you've not heard me talk a lot about the electric truck stuff. And hey, if you're new to the channel, think about smashing the like button on this video, and uh, think about offering us a subscription, because we are going to talk EVs. And I'm going to talk EVs from the standpoint of, like, I'm dumb about it, and that's how I want to approach this. I don't want to be smug and be like, oh, you know, I can break down the Teslas and all this stuff. I'm, that's not my thing. I'm an old school car guy, but I want to I want to love this EV platform, and the Chevy it, it for, speaks to me in the best of everything. So think about giving our channel a subscription and growing with us and uh, learning with us. So the Chevrolet Silverado EV and uh, that's right I did put a deposit down on one of these things or I guess I did a reservation on it and um, you're like which one did you get did you get the first edition or not no I didn't want to get the first edition I didn't even try honestly because I knew it would sell out quickly but two I want to find the EV that's like right for the channel something that everybody could if you feel like you wanted to go EV like it's within your reach of grabbing not something that's hundred and five thousand dollars like the first edition is gonna be just something way out of there. I want to find what the common person would buy in an EV pickup truck. So that's what we choose. Now, it's not the work truck, but maybe it's the, uh, what do they call it, the uh, RST. I, they've been kind of like, eh, I don't know what they exactly mean between all these just yet. Well, I know what work truck means. But, well, I'm sure, you know, they're going to divvy out the information slowly over the next year or so because, well, it's not going to be till late 2023, early 2024 till the ones that I would want that I can get. So we have time to learn and grow as a channel. So join with me in this EV thing, but let's jump into it because I've got some video I want to show you guys and I want to kind of break down a couple things, quick hit things that I like, and we'll go from there. All right, look at this thing, man. This thing looks like it's ready to party and I like to party. Do you like to party? And uh, EV's about ready to go, but uh, the glass roof in this thing's really, really nice. A lot of cool, it looks like a truck. It's got cool, beefy, rugged features, but yet, you know, still stylish enough that you want to take this into town and run around. It's going to be, you know, go to a nice dinner in this thing. It looks like it's classy enough to do that. Now, <clears throat> I wish they would have called this almost the avalanche, though, because this damn thing near is damn near an avalanche. Now, this intro, I love how this thing, when you walk up to it, this is how it greets you. Though, I would hope there's a way to turn this feature off so you're not at a mall or something. And it's, I don't know, maybe uh, distracting to other people, but it is cool. And it's going to do cool truck things, right? Because that's what this is. It's a Silverado, man. It's made for the wild. Be crazy with it. And I like this feature. They took the Avalanche stuff, brought it into this truck, and that was smart. That was something Ford probably should have done. Now, it didn't get the big front that Ford did, but look, it's doing truck things. It's going off-road, doing the off-roadies, right? And um, overall, like, this thing just looks great. Now, always, you got to tone down the expectations of what we actually see, but out of the get-go this rst looks freaking nice man i love it let me know in the comments what you think oh man what did i do what did i get myself into um are you guys ready because we all know ev is coming there's no escaping it it's going to be your cars it's going to be you know obviously your trucks now and i think there's a room for both of them between the electric and the gas even though i think the range for gas right now outdoes ev but that 400 you know miles that that chevy's saying they can do that's pretty freaking awesome so join with me let's have some fun with this obviously if the bronco content or jeep content anything you know i do reporting wise on that stuff it's not going anywhere you know you know i'm a i'm an outdoor guy and love to adventure that way but i like the street too so, whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, you guys know the drill. It does not matter what you drive because, well, maybe like two years I'll be driving one of these EVs here on the channel. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.